What is the progress on the phase two of the Lagos Metro Rail Max Transit? There has been a huge progress achieved on every corner of this project, starting from our two down to Okoko, where the project will terminate. In this video, we'll be discussing every progress achieved on the Maotu Okokomaiko corridor. Lagos, Nigeria, a city where everyone is on the move, and there comes an adequate need for an efficient and sustainable transport infrastructures, such like railways. This is what the Lagos State Government is embarking on to ensure they have a working rail system which on the first phase of this project has been fully completed and operational heading to a year now here in Lagos, Nigeria and the second phase is work in progress. The Lagos Blue Line is an electric ramp transit line that runs in Lagos, Nigeria it is a part of the Lagos Rail Mass Transit System run by the Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, LAMATA. The Lagos Blue Line spans a 27 km length with 13 stations designed to run from Marina to Okokomaiko but is divided into two phases, which the first phase is now fully operational which span a 13 km from Maotu to Marina with 5 operational stations. The 14 km second phase of the Lagos Blue Line is currently under construction spanning from Maotu to Kokomaiko. We'll be exploring all the sites where work is currently ongoing on this project. We have three elevated points on the project. The first one at the first gate area which crossed Lagos Lagoon. The next one at Alakija flying over the Alakija access road while the last one is at Yanoba flying over the Iba access road. The remaining of the tracks are flatbed throughout. So guys, we are currently at the Alakija area and this is one of the ascending bridges. The construction of this project started in 2009 by the then governor of Lagos State, Baba Tunde Fashola. In 2023, the present governor of Lagos State, Baba Jide Sonwolu, completed the first phase of the project. Also started the second phase of the project, same 2023. What has been achieved as of August 2024 is almost one year since it started construction of the second phase. This is the Okokomaiko area of the project where the project will actually terminate and head towards Maotu. This is where we'll be looking at the project from Okokoko down to Maotu. We'll be seeing everything going on on this corridor, bus stop by bus stop. Okokomaiko is the last station on the phase 2 of the project. Currently, there's a construction site here. What we're doing here is to construct a train station, also a depot for maintenance of the train service. Construction is still at the ground level here at Okokomaiko. They are currently forming the foundation for the train station and the depot. This is what is going on here. They are currently at the piling stage of the construction. Extending back to the track, this is what it's looking like. Right here, they are taking out the existing soil to start um, construction of drainage system and some filling before the track will be laid. If you search further, you will see where they have constructed the drainage system and Safilin will be in next stage from here. This is what it's looking like. And this stretch further down to Alabaragu area of the project. This is almost close to Alabaragu. Yeah. This is what it's looking like at that part of the project. And this is the Alabaragu area. This is what we have currently as of August 2024. One beautiful thing is work is currently ongoing on this project on every blessed day.
We are still at the Alabaragu area of the corridor. And this is Lasso Gate. As you can see, this is the amount of progress achieved at the Lasso Gate area. We also have a pedestrian bridge under construction at the Lasso Gate area of the project. Up there is the Yanoba area. This is what is going on at the Lasso Gate area of the project. This is one of the elevated points on the project which fly over the Iba access road and this is the amount of progress achieved on the construction of the flyover. Extending for that to this is what we have going on there, scraping of the soil. This is what is currently going on on Vos Wajin area of the road. This is the underbridge of the Vos interchange. This is what we have going on there. Technically, they are scraping out the existing soil on the road track. This is what is going on right from the Okoko down to Vos Wajin currently. And we are extending further to see what is going on on other part of the road. Stay tuned as we take this tour. We also have a pedestrian bridge under construction at the Volkswagen area of the corridor. This is the trade fair area. The work continue from the Vos area down to trade fair and subsequently to Abulado where we take our next stop.
This is the Abulado area of the corridor and this is the amount of progress achieved at that part of the project. We have a pedestrian bridge fully covered and functional. Also a bus shelter at the Abulado area and this is the amount of progress achieved on the track at Abulado. We also have a train station under construction at the Abulado area of the project. This is the rail track and we're heading to the construction site of the next station which is the Abulado Alakija station I guess. So this is what the station is looking like right now as of August Railway track heading towards Alakeja, one of the elevated points on the project. This is what that path looks like. We're heading towards the Alakeja flyover. This is what we have right there. This is the progress at Alakeja, one of the elevated points of the project. This is how much they've come on this part of the project. Hi guys, uh, we are currently at the Alakija area of the construction. You can see there, all these, all these are the pillars that will actually connect uh, the rail tracks to the ascend and then descend on, on, the, on the other end. So this is how much they've achieved on this particular part of the project. As so you can see, the pillars are, the pillars are, are fully formed. As you can see, they are doing some of this uh, interlocking. This is what is currently happening on this section of the projects. This is it guys. So right as you can see right from there go down straight to that point. This is what they've achieved on this particular part of the projects. We'll be going further to other um, part of the project to see what is currently happening there. One reason why you should follow up and go, don't go anywhere. After the Lakija flyover, what is going on on the railway track? Let's continue. This is the railway track after the Lakija heading towards mile 2. This is what we have right there. Unlike what we've seen from Okoko down to this point, this is how much they've also achieved. This is Oluti particularly. This is Olu Oluti area. We're heading towards Aboju. We have a pedestrian bridge fully completed at this section and bus shelters also completed the section heading towards Abuja. We also have a station under construction, which you will see shortly. This is the progress, and we're heading towards Abuja area of the corridor. This is what we have going on at the track, some filling, and as you can see, let me know what your thoughts are on this project in the comment section. This is the station currently under construction at the Abuja area of the corridor.
we control the tour from the Aboju. This is the Aboju area heading towards the first gate, and this is what that part also looks like heading towards the first stack first gate and before my two. This is what the first stack first gates look like heading towards the mile two area. This is what we have at the retrack, and this is the retrack at the first gate heading towards Aboju. This is what we have at the retrack. The next and the last site on the project is the bridge beside Dubai Junction and First Stack First Gate, the bridge that crossed the Lagos Lagoon. There was an existing bridge at this site that crossed the Lagos Lagoon. The team of focus here focused on bringing down that bridge to reconstruct another bridge that will be able to carry the capacity of the Blue Line when in operation. So this is how much they've achieved on that particular part of the project. As you can see, they're bringing it down and working to construct another flyover bridge. This is what is going on at the first gate double junction area project. This is the amount of progress achieved at the second phase of the Lagos Blue Line, phase 2. After here, the rail track will connect to the first phase of the project which is now completed and functional. This is where we'll wrap this documentary for today to be continued next time. Before then, let us know what your thoughts are regarding this project in the comment section. Ask us questions, we'll be able to answer you in the comment section.